So welcome back to Keto Naturopath Kitchen. Today, I'm really making something very exciting for me. Uh, as you know, and I tell everybody, I'm 100% Sicilian. Yes, I was born in the United States, as were my parents, but all four grandparents came from Sicily. So I'm proud of my Sicilian heritage. And one thing I love and miss is cannoli. I absolutely adore cannoli. When I was young, my dad was take, would take us to Boston every once in a while in the North End on uh, Hanover Street and uh, to buy my mother her cooking utensils. And we'd get olives and real imported cheese and cannoli. And I loved going to Boston to get cannoli. And as I got older and we were living in Connecticut and there was more of an Italian um, group where we were living at, we were living in Mystic, Connecticut and um, Stonington and Providence have a large Italian population. So I could get cannoli. So for my birthday every year, I had lasagna and now I make my own lasagna, which I have a video out there, keto lasagna and a cannoli. So now I can make my keto lasagna and have my keto cannoli dip for my birthday every year. So first, we're gonna start off with a 16 ounce container of ragotta cheese. Yes, ragotta cheese, also known as ricotta for those of you who aren't Italian. And eight ounces of mascarpone cheese. Mascarpone is, I guess you could say, the Italian version of cream cheese. I think it's a little, has a little bit of sweetness to it. I got this at Aldi because my, um, didn't see any at some of the other grocery stores I normally go to, but I knew that Aldi had it. But it, usually you can find it at a grocery store. It's just, didn't find any here. So I'm just gonna mush that up a little. I forgot my vanilla. I'll be right back. Okay, I have my vanilla. And as I probably mentioned before, I'm making my own vanilla now. I have vanilla beans and I have some in vodka, some in bourbon, and they're, it's almost ready to use. It's been about a year, which is a good thing. It's almost ready because I'm almost, almost out of vanilla. So I have a teaspoon of vanilla and powdered xylitol. I have mentioned before the only sweetener that we can use is stevia and xylitol. Um, and I don't like the granular stevia. I like the liquid better stevia. So I use xylitol made from birch and it's powdered. It does not come powdered. So what it, this is is 35 grams of powdered xylitol. So what you would do is, um, Measure out 35 grams of your granular, put it in a little herb, uh, spice blender, coffee thing, whatever, and make it into powder. And that's how you do it. Sometimes I have some left and I'll put it in a, a canning jar and have it there. But normally, what, and then the other reason why I like to weigh things, I just weigh the granular, powder it, and it's the amount of powdered sugar that you need. So this is xylitol. Now you're going to mix this up with a hand mixer. And in case I forgot to mention, did you also know that cannolis are Sicilian? I watch, I love watching, um, I watch a lot of food videos, no keto videos, but just regular food videos that I then convert to keto. And I love watch the British baking show on Netflix. I love watching that. And one time, their challenge was to make Sicilian cannolis. So, Sicilian cannolis. Here we go. And as you can see, it gets a little messy. So this is a pretty big bowl and you needed a large bowl in order to whip it. So. I'm going to put it in a different serving bowl. Now also, here's going to be the big controversy. I always had my cannoli and the ends were dipped 
in pistachios. So I have some chopped pistachios here, which I will put on top. Other people that I've had later, people put chocolate chips on the ends or they mix it in with the cannoli filling. I hate chocolate chips in my cannoli. I hate chocolate chips in my cannoli. I bought some so that I could show you and then I thought, you know, I don't like chocolate chips in them, so I'm not gonna put it. I'm gonna have mine with my pistachio. I bought this at Walmart, it's called Bake Believe. It's milk, chocolate, no sugar. It does have erythritol in it. I was still gonna try it even though I can't use erythritol, it has stevia. The only controversial thing it has is inulin. Some people are bothered by inulin, other people are not. I personally am not bothered by inulin, so I bought it to try because I do not like Lily's chocolate. One year for my birthday, I bought a Lily's chocolate. It was not clean keto. I was gonna eat it anyway. I had one bite of it and I threw it all away. So I am not trying their chocolate chips. I would have tried these. This is another brand I had to get on Amazon. It's Pasha. Now this is 100% cocoa, so there's, there's no sweetener in this at all. And it was very hard to find 100% um, chocolate chips that had no sweetener at all in them. So I bought these. I know that Ghirardelli has them, but you have to order a whole case from their website and I don't eat chocolate chips that often. So I bought one of these on Amazon. So that's another alternative. And now I will show you how I enjoy this. There are so many ways to enjoy this. Cucumber slices, you say cucumber slices for cannoli dip, yes. The freshness of the cucumber with the cannoli dip is great. This is my cinnamon PSMF bread. I, um, I'm gonna try making that into the focaccia like I make a focaccia with rosemary and garlic bread. I'm gonna try it with cinnamon bread to see how that goes with this. This is uh, my regular PSMF focaccia that I make. And of course, let's not forget pork rinds because they're nice and crunchy. And strawberries, strawberries go very well with it too. So let's try a crunchy pork rind. And you know, if you're gonna taste, take a big taste, this is gonna take me a while to eat, but you know, I don't want a wimpy little taste. Mmm, mmm, that is so good. Let's try a strawberry. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Mm. Oh, I'm not gonna try everything here, but let's try a cucumber. Mmm. This is a great light dessert to have for Mother's Day, any holidays, family gatherings. It's a way for you to stay clean keto at holidays. So here is my clean keto Sicilian cannoli dip. It's amazing. 